And let me tell you this, if 22 million Australians knew what was going on here, there is no way this dam would go ahead. They wouldn't let it, and our task is to tell them so they help us stop it. Uh, mainly because I want to show my support, um, and I'm completely against the dam. I came all the way from Canada for this! I've come from uh, West End, from, from Brisbane, right in the heart. Um, I'm friends with the Earth. I'm here today to support the Gympie area between Kandanga, Kenilworth, to give them our support from Brisbane. Well, I'm here to lend support in the campaign. And I want to know what's going on here. Stop the Traveston Dam and uh, put the effort into recycling water tanks and uh, reuse of water. Um, I'm here because I believe the Mary River should stay wild and it's worth saving for the people and for the animals. It's with honour I pass this across to Eve from the Gubby Gubby people. We human beings are inspired by the planet that we're on. The connection in the Mary River with all of us on Earth is clearer than perhaps anywhere else on the planet because here is this stunning ancestor which brought the backbone out of the seas onto land. Here is the iconic Australian lungfish which tells us so much about who we are and how we came to be here. No lungfish, no human beings. We've got the, the dam here, we've got tunnels and roads through, through the centre of Brisbane, we've got um, coal mines proposed for Felton Valley, these sorts of things. We need to start to see all of these things as not disconnected elements, but all parts of a big climate change issue. And we are the lungfish people. We not only have a spine, but we have a great pair of lungs. Yeah. And Canberra is going to hear those lungs growing right across this country as more and more people get to know about this outrageous, unnecessary, costly, second-rate, better alternatives are awaiting proposal. The people's support today has been huge. and from like children up to seniors and it's been amazing and they're all for the same thing and you know we're not going to give up. I've been through this with the Franklin River. They had spent 70 million on the dam there before that one was stopped. They actually had bulldozers and the whole works in there and the, the, uh, the gorge being gouged out by bulldozers when that one was stopped. For the past three weeks this torch that you see has been travelling right across Australia from up the top of the Torres Strait in this beautiful state down to Tasmania from Perth across to Sydney and it's been through hundreds of communities like yours who are telling their governments and telling their leaders that they won't stand for this, that they want the government to take strong action on climate change and on their local environment. The fairy has spoken today people, she is flowing! Let's keep her flowing! I think that it's time that we started living um, differently this isn't just about this river, it's river systems internationally and we're all affected when this dam happens, this just opens the precedent for the next dam and the next dam and the next dam and suddenly it will be your river. One of the key things that we've got coming up is on the from the 29th, 22nd to the 29th of September, we've got a week of action on climate change, um, and that's really about making sure that we have as many issues covered as we can through a variety of actions all over the city. With a big convergence event happening on the Sunday, meeting at the city at 2 p.m. at Parliament House.